Hi everybody. I am so excited to introduce uh, my newest ruler. This is the sixth ruler in the Garden Lines collection. It is called Lotus Lines and it is an applique aid uh, ruler. I've designed it with a straight edge that has 45 degree and 90 degree markings, a curved edge, two um, little rounded sides for doing small round bits of applique, um, a little inside curve, and two areas of different styles of needle entrapment um, for doing really high precision um, stitch in the ditch work. So I'd like to show you uh, how this works and how it's so nice to flip between all these different edges um, to get in and out of all the parts of an applique. I'm going to be quilting with this bright green thread so you can really see what I'm doing. Okay, so anytime that I have like a long straightaway, um, I can use either the straight side, or this one has a slight bend to it, so I'm actually going to use a curve here to really help out with being super precise. Not everybody likes doing stitch in the dish with a ruler, um, and that's okay, but I happen to prefer it because I feel like I have a lot of control. You can see I've switched to a curved side, so I can really help out with my curve accuracy. to show you a couple of the styles of needle entrapment. Um, people like different kinds. Um, I happen to prefer this style, which is a more open style. I find it easy just to swoop in. I like to get a good grip on the ruler, so I'm going to pull um, to the left with my left hand, and I'm going to pull with, to the right with my machine control hand, which will push the hopping foot deep into this curve and give me, um, you know, just maximum control over the head of my machine. As you can see, it's really like um, like drawing, except that I'm just almost holding on to the needle without danger of actually needing a tetanus shot. So another style of needle trapment that I've included with this ruler is this full enclosure, which pops over the stitch, uh, hopping foot. You do need a quarter inch shank for this. Um, and with this, you can actually set your machine to, um, to moving and physically control it with both your hands. Now this style of stitch and ditch is not for everybody, but some people really prefer it because they feel like they can really control. If you like quilting with micro handles, then this is the style for you. Or you can just go with the outside edges. I have little straightaways. My tails are in the way. I just love having all of the different styles of edges available so no matter what my applique looks like I can easily just spin the ruler and uh, get to it. One of the other things that I really like about the ruler is um, that when I'm ready to do some kind of decorative detail within an applique I don't have to go looking for another style of ruler uh, and I happen to like having multifunctional tools. So if I'm working on this applique project but I want to seamlessly throw in uh, an element here, I can do that using just one ruler. So I'm going to do a little diamond here in between, I've marked off this edge. And now I can immediately switch to perhaps doing some kind of cross hatching. So I'm going to use um, you know, my straight edge to do a little bit of cross hatching. So I can just go ahead and switch right to that. Looking for something new. Now all of my garden lines collections that feature cross hatching lines do include eighth of an inch registration as well. 
So if you like doing smaller scale things, it's really easy to do that. And I can switch and do the other side, nice and easy. So that's it everybody. My new Lotus Lines applique ruler. It's available now for immediate delivery. Have a great day, everyone.